So here's the latest application. This guy here now is critical for me. I have a boat uh, hooked up on the dock out here, which has security equipment on it, which runs constantly. Uh, it's 12 volt and it has to be connected to the 12 volt battery, of course, so that uh, if the boat is taken, it's constantly feeding a signal as to where it is and all the other things it supplies. So I need to keep it plugged into shore power while it's here. So that the batteries, because I've got to run my batteries, this way I can run my battery charger and keep the boat batteries at a nice level. This is critical. You know, you've all seen my application before. I've got the 400 uh, amp hours from the Ampere Time batteries. Fantastic. 2000 watt inverter and all the Victron equipment. But this transfer switch now allows me, it's being fed uh, through this 15 amp coming in from the house. And then it's also going out and feeding the boat. So what's happened is that the this inverter only draws nine watts in standby, so it's on constantly. And as soon as the solar pin, the batteries are back up to 14.2, uh, which where are they? We're just now getting sun, it's 13.3. So once they reach 14.2, this transfer switch will kick in. You see the little arrow blinking right now from the left indicating that the power is coming from the house, from the grid, from this line here. But as soon as the batteries are full enough, it will cut over and run it off the uh, battery system for as long as it can. And yesterday that ran until after 6 p.m. With me screwing around with the solar panel, I had to move it a little bit to get the better sun. But that's great, guys. So it's, it's going to kick on in a few minutes here. Um, and then this will run the boat, keep the batteries topped off, run the boat charger all day until um, the sun goes down. Or, and then after that, once the batteries have finally dropped down to, I'm cutting them off at 13.4, which is well above their threshold. But um, I think that's at like 80%. But um, I don't really have a desire to run them all the way down at, at current. So this is just fantastic. This is a practical everyday use. You gotta find things you're, you're running constantly. This boat is a new addition for me here. And this really solutions it. Uh, the way I've hooked up the boat. I want to keep this in here because um, this setup runs my uh, air conditioner in the house if we've lost power and it runs the house systems if we've lost power. So I've not really got a desire to take all this and put it on the boat at the moment. And this way, by using this, uh, just got a, a construction 15 amp cord. And now that runs down to the dock and the shore power adapter for the boat is plugged into that 15 amp cord, right? Let me just show you. So here we are, just temporary, it's running down here. It goes down there to the shore power adapter, which plugs into the boat. And then I'm able to run the charger. I think I'm running the fridge too, just to see what the draw is. And um, it doesn't cost me a dime, guys, <laughs> until uh, late into the evening. Once the batteries have dropped off, they're too far. So, everyday use, and um, it's working fantastic. Just to show you guys another use for this, um, I've got a boat out here that I'm running all the security equipment on that, and that means I have to use the batteries. It's a 12-volt system. So if I'm running the batteries, I'm also going to want to plug into shore power so the charger can keep the boat at a nice level. So now what's happened, I've got that all plugged into my solar panels, which you've seen in my other videos. I don't really want to put those on the boat at the moment because I'm using them for the house in disasters and we're getting into hurricane season. But with a long extension, I'm able to run these systems on the boat. The boat right now is drawing 87 watts and the solar panels are running it. But the transfer switch is also installed. And so as soon as the battery power goes down to 13.1, which is 30%, the transfer switch cuts back to the house. This is perfect installation because I always want the boat to have power. But for most of the day, until four o'clock in the afternoon, I don't know if you can see that clock up there. Um, yeah, right there, 350. And later, we're still drawing 110 watts. I can run this all off the sun and pay nothing for it to have the boat charged and have the, the uh, batteries running and ready to go. Perfect system.